What's going on guys? So I just wrapped up my latest workshop here in Franklin, Tennessee, and I did something a little bit different. I wanted to try a different camera, so I went to Lens Rentals and I picked up the Sony a7 III uh, just to kind of see what all the hype was about these Sony cameras, and spoiler alert, it's a pretty rad camera. Uh, but one big issue that I ran into was that when I plugged it in uh, and tried to run it through Capture One to Tether, it wouldn't show up. So I went through all the camera settings, I, you know, went through a bunch of different stuff and I just couldn't figure out what it was. Um, I figured it was kind of something with the camera because I am not familiar with it. I only had it for about a day before I actually had my workshop. Um, so I couldn't figure it out. So I actually ran through the proprietary Sony remote app, uh, which worked fine, but I still, it was kind of bothering me on why I couldn't figure out how to get it to work in Capture One. So I did a little digging. I went into the Capture One preferences and under the capture uh, panel, I noticed that Sony was disabled or it was unchecked. So I figured, why not try clicking it? It asked me to restart the program. And so I'll quit. And I will open Capture One back up. And once it loads back in, I'll try plugging the camera back in, turning it on. And lo and behold, plug it in, turn it on. And over here in the camera panel, it's gonna show up. So right there, now the camera works. I can take photos, I can tether like I would with any other camera. Um, so if you run into that issue where your camera isn't, isn't being recognized by Capture One, try that, go into preferences under the camera or the capture panel, make sure the brand of camera that you're shooting with is checked. All you have to do is restart the program and start it back up and everything should work just fine. So. Um, if you want to try out Capture One and you haven't, I will have a link to a trial in the uh, description of this video. So go ahead and try that. I love it. I think it's literally the best program for tethering and really just for you know image organization and uh, minimal editing on the market right now. So click the link, check it out. And if you're interested in renting gear or if you need to rent gear for any project, I'll also put a link to Lens Rentals. They're amazing. And please subscribe, follow, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time.